uh, then the Tool 6. So a lot of uh, questions that I get on, the, um, on my channel uh, ask the question uh, about how I capture my audio or how I record the, the audio or the cockpit audio in the, uh, in the videos that I shoot. So I'm just going to do a quick video on that. I'm not going to be super elaborate with it. It's not super technical. I'm not even saying the way that I do it is the best way. I think that there's a couple other guys out there that do recording and video like Mr. Aviation 101 and a couple of the other guys that actually capture it in probably a better way. What they have is they actually have the the setup like that I'm going to show you but they actually have it plugged into another recorder but I'll show you how I do it it works for me for now I think I'm going to change it up in a bit um, just to see if another way might be a little bit better but I'll show you the way I do it now if it works for you great if it doesn't or if you prefer a different way that's fine as well I'm just showing you how I do it because I get that question a lot how do you capture the cockpit audio and I think for any aviator the ability to capture the audio versus just throwing in some cheesy music in the background or what have you um, is so much it adds so much more to the video being able to hear what the pilots are saying what's going on all of that type of information so uh, we're going to jump in i'll show you a little bit about what it's like this is the uh the 206 here and uh you can see back there we've got the uh seats and everything uh, set up um, I can show you actually through the uh, through the side door before we get started give you a little bit of tour of the aircraft I don't think I've done a tour of it eventually maybe I'll make a video just about the 206 and go up and walk through each of the steps for it but um, right here this is the side so we can open it up and get in there so this is the 206 um, the side door we can put Two people in here got the headsets for that and then uh, I've got this cushion in here because a lot of times I'll uh, fly maybe a younger person and uh, they have a harder time uh, seeing seeing out of the uh, aircraft so I always like to uh, have that available for them and then I also have this little intercom piece here um, I just bought this at Oshkosh last year. It's really nice because I only have a spot for four audios But now I've got all the extra adapters and you can even plug music in so the people in the back can be enjoying music and um, just chatting there and the uh, Pilots of the front aren't gonna be uh, bothered Pacific Coast avionics. So if you guys are looking for something like that. There's a lot of deals. I think I've got that uh, this is a four place one and I picked it up for less than what just adding like a two place one so you'd be just adding one more mic. I'm actually adding on three more places because obviously it takes one to plug in so really you're taking one so you're adding three more. A lot of them are just two place so you're really only adding one more because you're taking up one slot plugging it in so it, uh, it works out pretty nice. So yeah that's uh I like that. It looks like we just got a Cirrus in here. Came flying in. We got a 172 coming in on final. I don't know if uh, the camera can capture out that far, but he's coming in for landing. Looks like he's getting a little bit of gusts of wind there, blowing him around. So, anyway, all right, back to uh, the audio. That's what I was promising you guys. So, capturing the audio. I wish I could capture the audio when I'm flying in the jet and uh, shoot some v videos for you there, but. Uh, Obviously, there's regulations against that. So for now, my videos are going to have to stick to mainly uh, the the uh, instructing that I do and the GA flying that uh, I do. And hopefully, I'll be able to do some more King Air and some more corporate jet stuff or private flying in the jet and stuff. But uh, for now, I'll be in the smaller airplanes, and uh, most that's where most of my videos will focus on. So. I actually have four uh, cameras. I, I video with the uh, Hero 3, and I actually have two Hero 3s. I have a Hero 3 Plus, and then I just recently got the Garmin uh, Verb. And some of you guys have seen some of the newer videos that I've shot. It's the Garmin Verb, and I enjoy it so far. I really like the extra data and information that it's giving me, the uh, Verb XE. 
Um, and just to clarify, when I am shooting with this, a lot of people have asked how I capture the audio on the verb. Now the verb will capture audio just like what I, how I'm capturing audio with this right now. It just hears stuff around it. But as far as plugging it in, I'm not sure. I'm sure they do have an adapter. I just have never researched it or looked into it because I've never needed to get one because I actually capture the audio with my GoPro. So I'll like mount the GoPro just like you see there. It's mounted on the side there, my Hero 3. So I would just mount my camera like that and usually the camera that's facing the people or facing the pilots is the one that I'm going to plug my uh, audio into. Like I said, I don't know if this is the best way. I think it would actually be better to completely have a separate like a small hand recorder and plug your audio into that and then sync it up with all of the films because then it stays right in line a little bit better because you got to be careful if, if your timing gets off on any of your videos it could be an issue so far it hasn't been a huge issue for me a couple times it has and it can be a little bit frustrating so i would recommend if money's not an issue or if you want to go all out uh, grab an extra little uh, recorder and just record the audio separate and uh, and then you can obviously link that in as you stack all your videos up depending on what you use i use final cut pro and uh, that works good for me um, as far as doing video editing. If you're not a MacBook person, there's obviously um, other ones out there that you can use. Um, I'm not an expert on those ones, so you'd have to ask around to some of the guys that use those. Um, but this is, uh, this is what I do. So what I have is I have right down in my flight bag, I always keep it with me when I'm flying around, I have this little audio cable. Now I got this from the uh, the pilot shop. So this is pilot slash USA dot com is what this is advertising, and uh, and that's where I got mine. I think Sporties now sells them too. And uh, when I got mine, I actually have the cable that can be plugged in. I preferred to get it this way so that I can actually capture audio. Sometimes my GoPro battery will die, or sometimes I just don't have the time to set up all my GoPro cameras. But there's a really neat shot that I want. So I've even uh, had a pilot once I was flying in uh, King Air coming in on a landing it's really neat airport and I'm like man I want to capture this well I had my audio cable right in my flight bag like I always do but I didn't have any of my GoPros with me um, so I actually uh, said hey you mind if I shoot this footage and the guy flying was like yeah go ahead uh, so I actually plugged in my audio cable and then plugged this right into my iPhone and it synced right in so I actually like having it separate so I actually have this adapter here 3mm and then I have right here the adapter that goes to the GoPro. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me try to hold that up there if you can see it. So this is the adapter. So this would plug just like, I'll set this up here on the dash for now. Hopefully you guys can see this all well. So just like this, this is the part that would go into the GoPro. This part goes right in here. So I just plug that in there. Now they sell the adapters that go directly. They, they look something like this. This is the kind that hooks up with your headset right there and right there. Okay. Um, they sell the kind that go directly to the GoPro, but I like having it separate because then I can plug it right into any other type of video recorder camera or right into my iPhone. Boom. And it captures the audio or I can plug that in and then this will go right into here. I just plug that right into there, into the side there. So now, um, and then you come right down here. Hopefully it's not too dark down here. And uh, you can see the, see what I'm doing down here. Um, right in here. So I grab this here and I'm gonna plug this right into there. So that plugs right in line there with that and then obviously you take the other part right here and you're gonna plug it in right there so this goes right into where your headset would usually plug into and then your headset plugs into the other side of that hopefully it's not too dark down there and you can all see that just fine so that makes the connection there and then up it comes and goes right in there a lot of times what I'll do is I'll set it behind there or uh, get it clipped around there so it's all set in place so it doesn't fall down during flight or does isn't a distraction or anything like that and then obviously you uh you have your headset right there and uh this is the uh older pair of bows that i have um but uh yeah so that makes the, the connection there so 
that's uh that's what you can do the pilot shop has these i think um sporty's pilot shop also has it um so you can get them from all those places i'll try to link um you see right there i'll try to put a link below to some of these uh websites that you can get them at and uh, hopefully that's a help for you